What is up guys, it's Fab and today I am going to be doing a tutorial based on my latest edit and it's going to be Twixter sync into beats so basically like beats in the song where you sync the Twixter and then it speeds up and you sync it again to the beats and it does look really cool I tried looking for a good tutorial on this, there probably is one but I couldn't find one, all I could find ones were of like skipping frames where it just skips and I, in my opinion I think this looks better. So jumping straight in, you need a good song and a good clip and what I mean by that is you need a clip to be 59 frames per second or higher so that the Twixer looks good and it doesn't warp and you need a good song where the, you need good beats, well to be honest in this one they aren't necessarily beats, it's just singing. And if you've got a good like sense of rhythm then you can time it up with whatever you want. But if you like but just learning how to do this, I suggest you get a song with like clear beats so that it's easier to sync it up. But yeah, so first off what you want to do, what I'm gonna do is find the beats in my song that I want to sync the Twixter to. So here I've just synced up so that he shoots. And I'm going to be syncing up after he shoots to the shots to the song. So I'm just going to find them now. And I'm going to scroll in. Here's the first one. I can see straight away off the music. So I'm going to hit M on the keyboard to add a marker. And then the second one is a bit harder to find because it's just a word. So I think that's around about... There, that's around about there, so that's the second one. There's the third one and final one. And there is the final one. So now I've got my four little beats selected. And like I said, as you can do it with as many beats as little beats, whatever you want. So once I've got my beats selected here. I'm going to go ahead to my first one and what we're going to be doing is speeding it up before it gets to the Twixter so that's like the jumping bit instead of just skipping frames it's going to actually like go ahead but really fast so what I'm going to do is go before the marker about 5 keyframes about 5 keyframes and then split and then go ahead the marker go ahead from the marker as much as you want well you want to stay in range so that you can speed it up towards the marker without it being out of time but you want to go ahead about five or six after split again and then you want to hold control on this where you just split and drag it up to the marker so now you've just speeded that bit up so that it goes fast and this is where you want to drag your this bit back up to the marker and now we're going to be adding Twixter to this bit so that it speeds up and then it goes into Twixter on the beat so you just want to get grab two keyframes from this so just go two keyframes or three split you don't need this bit for now so just drag it off to the side a little bit and you've got this little segment now drag it out get your twixter and drag your twixter onto that and use whatever speed you want i'm going to go with two because that's a nice steady speed and now i'll preview this little bit for you what basically happens is this. You won't be able to see it very well now because it's only the first beat, but it speeds up and then it goes into Twixter. But with mine, it's really fast beats. With whatever song you're using, it may differ. So now we're going to be syncing up to the second one. So what you want to do is get your Twixter bit and you want to drag it a few keyframes before the second beat just to give us room to speed up before the second beat. And now what you want to do is go to the end of your Twixter clip and go into the Twixter and hit keyframe on the speed. And you want to make sure that down here, sync cursor to media timeline is selected so that whenever you move on here, it moves on there as well. So go to the end of where you just Twixted, change your speed to 100. Go back using these arrows, four three or four keyframes, go three and change your speed back to 2 so that's just basically keyframed keyframe the Twixter out so that it goes back into normal speed and then you want to drag your 
the clip back up to where the Twixter clip finishes and we're going to be speeding up again. So you just want to find a suitable bit where you want the Twixter to be. I'm going to go there, around about here, and you want to split again. Same thing, speed it up to the marker, drag your normal speed back up, take two keyframes. I'm going to go three actually, take three keyframes. Split, drag this to the side, and then drag this out again. Drag the Twixter on, put two. It is exactly, it's just repeating the process on how many beats you got. You Once you get the hang of it, it's really easy, but it may be a bit confusing at the moment. So now I'll show you what this these two look like. See, it like Twixters, then it speeds up to Twixter. You might not be able to see it good now, but whatever. So our third beat is a bit further away, so we, the Twixter's going to go on for a bit longer. So you want to drag it out, like I said, a bit before the third marker, where our third beat is. Drag the normal speed one back up, and same thing again, go into your Twixter clip, hit keyframe on the speed, make sure you're at the end of the Twixter clip, and then change the speed to 100, oh, oops. change the speed to 100, go back three keyframes, change it to two, so that it keyframes it out, back into normal speed. So now we're going to find another bit to Twixter. This is a relatively fast beat, this bit, so we're just going to find a small bit. So we'll go here. We're going to split again. And same process. Hold control on your keyboard and drag the clip back down to the marker so that it speeds it up. Drag your normal speed clip back in. Get three keyframes again. And split. Drag that out, drag your three keyframes out, and add Twixter to that. Change the speed to 2%. I'm trying to explain it well just so the beginners know how to do it, but most of you probably will know how to keyframe and stuff, so it should be easy to follow along, but if not, you can ask me any questions or whatever you want. So where were we? Right, so we speeded that bit up, and this bit's got Twixter onto it now. So like I said again, Drag the Twixter bit a few keyframes before the fourth uh, marker. Go into your Twixter again. Hit keyframe. Make sure you're at the end of your clip. Change it to 100. Go back three keyframes. Change it to 2 or whatever speed you're using in the first place. And then you want to drag your normal speed back up for the last time and find the final bit to be Twixter in. So we're going to see if this is alright. Yep, so drag it up again to the marker by holding control and just dragging it. For the last time, we're going to get three keyframes from here. Drag this away because we don't need this. Drag this bit out and add our Twixter on and add 2 to the speed and that should be pretty much it for my beats let's check it out and see what it looks like so it does take a little bit of getting the hang of the Twixter syncing and stuff but once you get the hang of it it will look cool so this is what it looks like you can see there that is synced in with the Twixter so that on every beat it goes fast before it and then it has Twixter and then fast and then slow See, so you can see it again. So there you go. That is pretty much it. Like I said, you can do it with any situation. You can do it with any song, pretty much, that has good rhythm and good beats to it. And it can be as slow or as fast as you want it to be. And I think it's a pretty cool thing to do. And I just made a tutorial because I couldn't really find any good ones explaining it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you did enjoy this tutorial and it helped you out, then be sure to leave a like and a favourite and drop any comments if you want to ask any questions or anything like that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.